Welcome to Into the Radius. We're playing on an Oculus Quest 2 through virtual reality desktop. Before we get started, if you're watching on YouTube, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so that'd be much appreciated. Also, like, share, leave a comment. All that good stuff is appreciated. Let's get into it here. So Into the Radius, I think it's a relatively independent game. Um, some good reviews, some uh, mechanic issues, but the story's supposed to be interesting, some good concepts. So we'll see what it's like. I'm assuming that big thing in the distance is the radius, but I really have no idea. We've got some sort of ash floating in the air. Uh, I ducked into the shooting range just to get a feel for the audio levels and uh, some of the mechanics, and I've adjusted some of the settings. So we're on smooth turn, uh, smooth um, movement. Uh, we turned grabbing to uh, press, uh, not, not toggle, so you have to hold the trigger to grab things. But other than that, um, settings are the defaults. So let's see what the tutorial is like. Do not eat yellow snow. Okay. Okay, it's kind of... I think I have to recenter at least. Well, that's not doing it. This is kind of on the side. Select movement direction. We did this part already. Oh, that's on my hand. That's why it's kind of weird. So that menu is actually attached to my hand. I like the, uh, I like the arms. I'm a big fan of uh, Saints and Sinners, The Walking Dead, so I like the kind of jangly arms. So we want uh, head direction to hold items, we want hold, we want uh, smooth. I don't know what hybrid is. Okay. What are we doing then? Let's move forward at least. Hands are kind of, the gloves are kind of a weird grip. Not a lot of movement there. Is that, um, some little glowing things back here. Welcome to Into the Radius tutorial. Continue. We, we did this already. Was that because we went back there? Okay. We want, we want head, hold, smooth, continue. So I guess we won't go back. We'll just keep going forward. We went back and we triggered that menu again, I guess. So we'll keep going forward, maybe up to these little white floaties. Maybe that has something to do. Oh, we got a climbing wall. Climb, use grip. All right. That's smooth enough. And then we got another little tutorial spot here. Left thumb stick, click toggle sprint. Sprint uses stamina, visible on your wrist. So, ooh, where's our stamina? One of those bars. Okay, that middle one, I guess. Seems pretty good. Right thumbstick down toggles crouch. Crouch makes you less visible. Use button or crouch physically. So we'll start with the button. Or it's not a button. It's the uh, analog stick down. Continue. And then the odd thing is you don't you don't thumbstick up to, to rise. You thumbstick down again. So... I'm not sure how awkward that's going to be. Use grip to grab and move yourself over the obstacles. I have the feeling we're going to be dying a lot in this game due to mechanics. You can also sneak around your enemies to sneak, go slow, and avoid their line of sight. Is there an enemy? When spotted, you can run away and break line of sight. If enemies don't know where you went, they can't chase you. 
that is true. I don't know where, I don't see any enemies. Yet, maybe they're through that door. So, we'll see what f falling does to us. Okay. Interesting little light bulb flowers. Let's see. Do we see an enemy? Oh, I guess that's an enemy. Okay. Can sort of tell where they're looking. Okay, I think they just turned away. they're looking at us okay now they're looking away oh they kind of look towards they scanned us there but they didn't um, they didn't alert We'll get as far away as we can before we have a look. Oh, okay. So now they're looking this way. Now I think they're looking away. A little hard to tell. I'm not gonna lie. All right. I think we're safe to. Stand up here. Whoa, okay. Didn't quite grab the ledge. Grab the ledge? That's a bit twitchy. Um, let's try this again. Hmm. Do we have to get up on there to get in? I don't think so. We got a ladder here. We just have to master how to crest, which, uh. Let's not let me grab the. Oh, there we go. We just want to grab the exact mantle. Pick up the knife using grip. You've got to tell me twice. Bring an empty hand over your non dominant shoulder and press grip to take backpack. Okay, so it's like right at your shoulder, like don't go too far. Uh, press grip again to place the backpack. Well, your backpack can store all kinds of loot, a sleeping bag under it, and a big weapon on the slot on the left. Um, I can't, um, okay, there we go. The backpack will automatically return to your back when you move away from it. All right, like that knife. So very much uh, saints and sinners. Oh, I guess we have to put the knife away. Didn't want to. All right. Uh, bring an empty hand. All right, so we didn't quite do what it said. Now we gotta trigger it. Continue. Alright. Knife's in our backpack, although we'll probably want it. What do we got here? Use trigger to open doors and search furniture. Yeah, it's kinda of odd the place items also on your vest slots and wrists for fast access can I, can I place a knife on my wrist oh okay well that's kind of fun 
probes, pouch, item holster, secondary weapon, pouch. Yeah. Ammunition, primary weapon, item holster. So, yeah, we'll leave that there. I don't know what probes are. So what we got here, we got to pick up that screwdriver? No. Can't see anything in there. What is this now? You can grab items from a distance by selecting them by holding trigger and pressing grip. All right. Look at that. Although, can I grab those both? That might be kind of awkward to grab at the same time, but let's leave it at that. Get out. I am not going to get out, unless that's outside. That's where we're going next anyways. Can we grab this? No. Is that it for the tutorial? Guess we'll find out if that was sufficient or not. So the grip and the trigger um, difference is kind of weird. Some things you use the trigger for, others you use the grip. So I guess grip is things you can pick up and, and trigger is like interact with things that um, that are either on furniture or on an object. Just kind of uh, haven't run into that type of differentiation before. Like now for a door, grab doesn't do anything, but trigger does. So triggers kind of interact. And grab is is grab. Knives can be used to either stab or throw. Stab all the targets. Um, that didn't really work. That didn't really work either. Uh, trigger. Trying to pick it up from a distance, but it's not really letting me. Okay, where'd the other one go? Did we lose a knife already? Fell through the floor or something? Oh no, there it is. So, we gotta figure out this grab. You have to wait for the... Oh, that was easy. A little bit of... Super hot. Press and hold the trigger while holding the knife to enable throwing mode. Okay. Throw them without letting go of the grip. Okay. While holding the knife. Okay, I see. Throw them without letting go of the grip. It's kind of interesting. Where did that go? Let's try that again. So we have to switch to that. And that didn't uh, that didn't do you in? Just kinda just kinda lodged there. Yeah, you don't let go, that's kinda odd. Press and hold trigger while holding the knife to enable throwing it. We got that now. Didn't actually throw that one, so you gotta watch your movement. Trigger, get to the square, and then grip to grab. Whoa, that, that bounced off his head. Bounced off the pillar. Looked like it went over here. Guess we don't, oh, there it is. These knives kind of blend in. Is that actually it? Or is the knife like broken now? That That's just an odd optical illusion. A piece of wood looks like the knife. So does that one over there. But I don't actually see the knife. Hopefully we won't uh, won't need it anymore, but it's just a tutorial, so we can hopefully proceed with one knife, but that doesn't bode well for holding on to weapons in game. Yeah. Moving on. Some anomalies react to light. Anomalies, you say. Use flashlight to clear the way. <laughs> clear, clear, oh, clear the way of, of grass?
Where should we put the... Alright, that seems pretty good. Do I have to shut this off? There we go. I don't want to waste batteries. Grab that Makarov on the table. Nope. Whew, that's rusty. Press left Y to open item info. That Mac is in bad shape. Low condition items can jam or otherwise not function properly. Condition is lowered by damage or usage and can be repaired in the shop or repair tools. Put down the pistol and grab the magazine. Oh, there we go. Pistolet Makarova is a reliable 9x18mm pistol. That is widely common in East Europe. It has 8 round magazine. Condition half. Okay. Hold both ammo box and magazine. Touch them to load magazine. Oh, it's empty. Interesting. I haven't run into this mechanic in a game yet. Actually loading magazines. Okay, insert the magazine into the pistol. Wait, we're not full yet. Oh, it's not letting me. Okay. Switch the safety off using right B. Oh, that's not what we wanted. That was right A, I guess. All right. Use the trigger to rack the slide back and cock the pistol. All right. Shoot at targets until magazine is empty. Man, the hands in this game seem a bit big, but I guess we're wearing gloves. But this pistol looks looks tiny. What? Oh, jammed. You can, yeah, yeah, we did that. Shooting a bit high. Uh, is it gonna? Yeah, we know that. Okay, so we're out. No, not that menu. Resume. How do we get rid of this? Maybe it wants us to do it with the other hand. There we go. Press A to fully eject the magazine. Hold right A to not drop it. Well, we already did that part. Put the attachments on the weapon. Bring them close together. Then the item info also unlocks all the attachments to take off. Okay. So we got a reflex sight and a suppressor. If I can get there. Okay. But we're out of ammunition. Oh, okay, so I didn't actually uh, eject the magazine, so... There's like a timer on it, so you can't actually do it super fast. Is that all it holds? I guess. It doesn't... Or is the box empty? Do I have to turn that sight on somehow? Uh, no. I have to remember not to press that button. That ejects the magazine. B is the scope. A ejects the magazine. B is the safety. But I don't know how to do the, uh, is it B there then? No, that's still the safety. All right, let's just see. Not sure how to, okay. I remember that it's trigger to rack. Is it going to tell us anything about the, uh,
up. So that's just an adjustment, but it doesn't seem like it's on. And I it doesn't it's not giving me an indicator to actually do anything with the attachment. And I need to cock the bolt. Okay. So, is that it for here? Can I actually grab the attachments off? No. That just grabs the bolt. So, let's do that. That's the fire select. Um, right B to remove the safety. Press trigger with hand holding pistol, shoot it. Yeah. That doesn't tell me. Oh, attachment's unlocked. Okay. So what does that mean? We can take that off. Okay, let's take that off. Let's, uh... I thought I unlocked the attachment. How do I take the sight off? Attachments are unlocked but I'm not seeing how to actually... All right, well, we're gonna move on. Even though our sight really doesn't do anything, unless I just like kind of tick it. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe I was just aiming too high. I see the dot now. Um, and how are we doing with the magazine? Did we drop that somewhere? Okay, that's holster, so that's good. Apologies, just getting used to the mechanics here. This is it's gonna be pretty hectic in combat to <laughs> be loading magazines, but I guess that's realism. Alright, now let's see if we can There. Wow, okay. Now we got the sight. It just doesn't really show up on these brown targets very well. Maybe that's the trouble we were having. Now we can hit fire. All right. Um, Is that it? Is the box empty now? I guess so. You get in there. All right, can we put that there? No. We'll probably put it on our backpack. Okay, so that's there. Let's see, can you get in there? Sweet, this is empty, but we'll put it in anyways that back and we'll move on I guess what's this now detectors the only way to find valuable artifacts pick it up all right only works when in your hand or on your vest the frequency of the beep shows how far away you are and the color of the light shows if you are pointing in the right direction green being best you just trigger to fire a flash that reveals artifacts. Find the artifacts on the platform ahead. Okay. Okay. It's kind of blue, not... Um, is that an artifact? I don't know what that was, but... Okay. The most dangerous anomalies can be revealed by throwing a probe in it. Use a probe to find the anomaly in the fenced area.
So I guess this is a probe. Where's the f fenced area? Uh, is in here the fenced area? I mean, that looks like an anomaly. We just throw in this? Oh. Um, did I throw a probe? No idea. But something's happening. I threw that thing down in there. Yeah, that's probably not good. Why don't we just go over here? We got another anomaly over there. Whoa. And on top of us. If you say so, um, we threw the probe into that one. I'm not, not entirely sure what we were supposed to do, but it seems, seems pretty hazardous at this point, so we gotta circle around. get in here now pick up the artifact this regen artifact it restores health while active activated by holding the trigger all right I guess maybe we'll check our watch. Oh uh, yeah, red's going back up. All right. What's the other one? Fashion artifact? Hmm, not doing anything. All right. So I guess we're looking for artifacts. Seems like we're heading this direction. What do we got in here? Sleep advances time, restores rest, the blue barrel on the wrist, and health, the red bar, but increases hunger. Sense hunger also accumulates over time and lowers the cap on your stamina. Food like candy bars, put out your hunger. Okay, let's have a candy bar. Mmm, good stuff. Wake up time. Do we need to sleep? Let's go over here. Press the on button with your finger. All right, pick up the cassette. Explorers, this is a friendly reminder from the UNPSC not to attempt to leave the Venturesk exclusion zone, as demarcated by the electric fence surrounding the site. We deeply regret the necessity of this measure, taken for your own protection, as well as for the protection of anyone attempting to enter the zone. Exposure to radiation and other after effects of the event have made the world outside the exclusion zone toxic for those who were in close proximity to the asteroid strike. Every survivor who left the exclusion zone before the area was cordoned off died within hours, 
despite the best efforts of the UNPSC's medical specialists. No medications or surgical interventions, not even the creation of controlled environments, succeeded in slowing the deterioration of organ function in those unfortunate survivors of the event. There have been no medical breakthroughs since that would suggest that doctors would be able to save a survivor who exited the zone. We hope that our research, with your assistance, will in time permit for such a breakthrough. Meanwhile, the UNPSC is with you in your efforts to maintain whatever normalcy is possible under the circumstances. We are committed to providing you with everything you need for Oof. a safe and comfortable existence in return for your continued cooperation. So we're stuck inside the zone doing research because if we leave, we die. Select missions. Do I have to actually... I'm trying to select it. Let's try this again. It doesn't really have the finger... Uh... Oh, okay. Um, maybe missed something there. So the trigger... You did have to press the trigger. It wasn't just a finger thing. Press the start button. Some changed species will leave an artifact after death. We call them dark cores. We need you to get some fresh samples and hurry back. These cores will decay with time. Bring back translucent fragment core. Bring back where? Deliver requested objects to the delivery bin in the shop to complete the mission. Is this the shop? Is there a delivery bin in here? We got some sort of shelter down there. Okay, so can we open this? No. Seems like a bomb shelter. Um, we got toilet paper. It's not really telling us what to do next. It's got an arrow here. I guess we're going this way. Pick up the map. With gusto. This is the map. It is located on your left hip, usually. Okay. Red arrow on the compass always points towards the sphere in the sky. Your mission and side mission areas are marked on the map with circles. Read the legend and match symbols in the world to in-world objects to find out your location and plan your approach. Match symbols, so I guess the sh they mean shapes maybe? All right. Um, I should really do this with my other hand. What am I doing here? So... Still no idea. Is that left hip? Okay, there's our map then. Mission... Select mission and... UNPSC mission computer. I thought we did that. I guess we'll go back and uh, boot that up again and see if we have to do anything else. Pick up the map. Oh, that's just uh, area triggered. Explorers. Okay, missions. Yes. Activate. All right. We're mission in progress. Okay. So now we got our map. We got our mission. We need to. So uh, let's switch back to the map. Does it show anything here? It does. It has a little red circle now. So for some reason that didn't take the first time. So we just have to kind of head up that way over that bridge of sorts. But I guess we should go up into that little lookout tower. Um, this thing's not beeping at all. We have to turn it on? No, that didn't do anything. I guess it's not active. up. OK, 
Okay, this uh, climbing thing. Okay, there we go. What is this? Stashes with lamp indicator contain useful loot. How do we open it though? Over there? Okay. Attention. This is UNPSC emergency guidance recording L1-61. If you are listening to this, you are most likely suffering from one or more of the following conditions. A sense of displacement, disorientation, memory loss, ataxia, and visual auditory hallucinations. Please remain calm. You are experiencing the adverse effects of prolonged exposure to the Pechoris radius. This recording was placed here by the UNPSC to guide affected personnel. We're going to have to figure out how to get down ladders a bit better than that. Just go north and enter the fog to find it. Oh, that's just for recording. We've got some arrows there, but that's not where our mission is. So let's uh, head over to our mission. I do see some uh, floaty bits over there, but let's uh, stick to the mission for now. Ooh, okay. Monsters sometimes drop dark cores. If you say so. So we already have one of those. Kill the fragment and use your detector to reveal the core. Deliver it to the train shop. Um, okay, is there a safety on this one? We got our fire selector. A, B. Not sure. I guess that's safe. Yeah, that's safe. So, A, B, let's just drop down. I don't see a monster just yet. Um, how do we, can we sling this? I think that slung it. Okay, I can't quite grab the ladder. I'm gonna have to figure out how, okay. I just gotta kind of fall and then, no, that's a backpack. There we go. And fire selector is still on something. I'm not sure if that's... Okay, there's about our aim. Gonna have to get our stock out for this. No monsters to report yet. Oh, there's something. Is that a monster? It's coming this way. Okay. So the primary weapon is not quite over your shoulder. The backpack's a little further back. So we got the core. Now where was that? Oh, huh, is the ladder all the way over there? It seems a bit turned around. No, oh, we're heading back to it. Let's do a little sprint. Ooh, that's fast. Set to the train. Oh, that's the train. So that's where we're dropping this core. It's a pretty in-depth tutorial. It's more like the first level. Um, I guess we'll go in here first. I see. This is a store. Here you can buy or sell any items. Select the 9x18mm weapon tab and press plus to add it to the bin. 
Um, I don't, I don't see a plus next to it. Oh, there. Okay. No. Okay, up there. Wait, that's the box. We don't want the box. We want the weapon. I might 18 millimeter weapon. I don't want the box. I'll press the plus next to the, okay, the box, okay. Press the buy button. Store them in your backpack, all right. Made us buy some more ammo, I guess. 25 shots, so this is, uh, that one's empty. You can sell items by placing them in the basket and pressing sell. Okay. Uh, I guess maybe what we're putting something in here? No, this is some sort of health box. Um, what's our mission? It didn't want us to put the the store. Okay, yeah, yeah. We heard about the store. Mission. Bring back translucent fragment core. And hurry back. These cores will decay over time. So do I go back now or no? I guess we'll go this way. I'm assuming she's not an enemy. Oh, you can hear me. I kept trying to speak to others, but they couldn't. And oh, help me, please. That wasn't really me, just an image. I'm trapped somewhere terrible. I don't know where, just that it's dark here and I can't move. I can project myself into the minds of people here, though. Their dreams are something. I, I tried to get the others to hear me too, but they never do. I'd almost given up, but then you heard me. Oh, please, help me. Oh, but you were lost too. I've seen this before. You don't remember anything, do you? People here tend to forget things and wander around confused. Then it gets worse. But you're alive! We need to make sure you stay that way. This is no place for the living. Go into the fog. See what's out there. Your memories will guide you. Now that we've made this connection, I can find you anywhere. And when you're ready, you'll come find me? The real me? I'm... I'm so sick of this place, whatever it is. My name's Katya, by the way. I'm so glad I found you. Finally, I'm not alone. No, but you're in pieces. So I'm assuming once we get into there, we're going to teleport away. So I think we should maybe just duck back and see if we can actually turn that core in. Although it said turn it into the train station, which seems like this thing. Okay. Welcome back. To open the locker, choose deliveries. Oh, okay. This is where we do it. The door will open. Place the dark core in the door and close it using the trigger to complete your mission. You can get the dark core from monsters. No, that was... Okay. Cha-ching! Okay. I guess we're done here then. So now we can uh, see what's next. See, it might trigger her dialogue again, but uh, we'll skip through if that's the case. Enter the portal to finish the tutorial. Good luck, stalker.
Well, there you have it. That's the tutorial for Into the Radius, played on an Oculus Quest 2 through virtual reality desktop. If you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so that'd be much appreciated. Also, like, share, leave a comment. I'd love to hear your feedback. All that good stuff is appreciated if you enjoy the content. We'll be continuing with Into the Radius and uh, the next part. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.